There are some sacrifices you'll make when choosing the Q8 over, say, the mechanically similar Q7. First, money. Audi has not yet revealed a US price for the Q8, but it surely will start higher than the $50,875 base level Q7, since it skips that model's turbocharged 2.0-liter inline-4. Instead, it will be powered exclusively by a 335-horsepower turbocharged 3.0-liter V6. The Q7's upgrade engine is an older, supercharged, 333-horsepower 3.0-liter V6. It's highly likely the Q8's sticker will exceed that of the $57,375 V6 Q7 and approach the $66,245 required for an all-wheel drive BMW X6. If you want to buy a more expensive version of the Audi, wait for the forthcoming SQ8. Second, you'll sacrifice seating capacity. To highlight it's not a monomobile status. The Q8 has only two rows of seats instead of the Q7's three. But let's face it, the Q7's third row is no great shakes. The Q8 might well be used by families with small children, but it doesn't necessarily carry the mark of Desitin upon it.